Today we are going to talk about growing and harvesting sweet potatoes. Yes, sweet potatoes. You would think sweet potatoes are primarily grown in states like North Carolina, Mississippi, Alabama, but yes, yeah, sweet potatoes can be grown here in Iowa as well. Planting of the sweet potatoes uh, usually starts in the month of June. You start using uh, a planting piece called slip, which is a, 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 which is a stem with about six to seven nodes. These slips are about 12 to 15 inches uh, in length. While planting, make sure that you insert the slip deep in the soil. It shouldn't be just one or two inches, but close to about four to five inches. Planting the sweet potato slips deep provides those nodes to produce roots, uh, tuberous roots, which ultimately yields, uh, results in a better yield at the end of the crop. Sweet potato tuberous roots need warm soil conditions. How can you provide warm soil conditions? Usually in Iowa and other northern climates, the soil is pretty cold, even in the beginning of the spring. So using of black plastic mulch could be uh, one way to elevate the soil temperature so that the growth of the sweet potato roots happens quickly and appropriately and, and the two sweet potatoes size up good for you. Sweet potato cultivars are many. Uh, some of the cultivars which we have tested here at Iowa State University are Beauregard, Evangeline, Diane, Hernandez. These are some good cultivars and out of these, Beauregard, Evangeline and Covington are the ones that we have found successful results with. Now you have planted your sweet potatoes, you have watered them, you have fertilized them, you have grown them for about 90 to 110 days. How do we know it's time to harvest? Uh, Sweet potatoes are usually harvested based on the uh, uh, days mentioned on the cultivar. For most of the cultivars are uh, range from 90 to 110 days. But in northern climatic regions, harvesting of sweet potato can happen before the first frost. So you would see it, it could, it, you don't have to wait until the first killing frost. I would say the first frost. Just before the first frost, you can go and harvest. Let's say you are not able to harvest before the first frost. In that case, as soon as the frost comes, Try to harvest it within one or two days because if you leave the sweet potato roots in a soil which is cold, it leads to damage in the root and doesn't lead to a good storage of the sweet potato later on. Harvesting of sweet potatoes. It could be a daunting task because they produce tremendous amount of tuberous roots. You are looking at about 20,000 pounds per acre. So that, that's a lot of sweet potatoes. For homeowners, uh, digging sweet potatoes uh, could be, uh, can be accomplished by using a pitchforks. You can dig on both sides of the rows and pull the sweet potatoes gently out. Don't break them because then it provides an entry space for the pathogens to go and cause disease in your sweet potatoes. At commercial scale we use this uh, tool called the undercutter so uh, this is an undercutter which we use to uh, pull or dig out the sweet potatoes you can see here this uh, equipment has a u-shaped blade which actually runs underneath the, pota the sweet potato rows and pulls the sweet potatoes up and these uh, stakes or the tines here what they would do is uh, they would uh, kind of remove the soil and remove the vines that are still attached to the sweet potato just kind of a sorter and bringing them up once we run the sweet potato undercutter then we go back uh, bring with bring our crates in and load the sweet potatoes in the crates and pull them out of the field this is what the plot looks like after the undercutter has gone through and uh, dug the sweet potatoes out. You will see most of the sweet potatoes, most of the time they are still connected to the vine and they are in clump. What we are doing while we harvest is we have to snap each of them so that we separate them from the clump. And in this clump you see there are different sizes. So there are some that are big. Uh, almost the size of my head or maybe bigger than that but these are classified as jumbo so maybe not for farmers market or, or, or restaurant uh, but maybe for restaurant for processing you know they can use this but this is still non-marketable because it's jumbo the ideal size we are looking for is something like you know this this is an ideal size it's about six six seven inches long about three and a half inches in diameter this would be grade one and we also have some small ones for example this uh, which is again uh, non-marketable just because of the size. There's nothing wrong in eating this. It still has the same quality which the bigger ones have, but just that the grade, the size is so small it cannot be uh, marketed. So to grow sweet potatoes, if you provide proper growing conditions, um, primarily heat, and that can be achieved by using plastic mulch. Sweet potatoes can be mal planted in there, uh, providing adequate moisture, fertilizer, and harvesting them in the right way without causing much damage to the tuberous roots. That's the secret to plant and grow sweet potatoes.
So this is the sorter which we use to sort our sweet potatoes. As you can see, there are different sizes uh, based on the distance between these PVC pipes. Anything that is above three and a quarter inch in diameter stays above it. So those will be uh, the grade called jumbo.